Hey everybody, take a look at this. I did this when we first moved in, uh, well, about 10 years ago. And I didn't know how to put these guys down, separating the gravel from the grass. And look how tilted they are. And you come down here, and actually they're laying down. I'm having a hard time standing. I'm sorry, there, there's one, there is, I feel it right here. All right, you see them laying down right there. They're laying, laying down right here. Okay, they're laying down here, here, and here. This one's missing, probably the one inside, and there's one laying down here. So I'm going to show you just how to put these into where they're standing up. All right, I work for Christmas April a lot, and uh, we just did this someplace. So now to do it at mine after my ramp gets put in, because I have no idea how far it's coming out toward my way. Well, the ramp's installed. That's a whole different uh, video, but yeah, I get kind of emotional when I talk about it, because it was, uh, you know, it was just too cool. Anyway, um... I, I dug the trench out, dug all the all the bricks out, and I want to show you uh, how to um, lay them down. All right, now, oh, sorry about that. Uh, now, uh, what, uh, what you need to make sure is that they're all level and they're a straight line. That's crooked right there. All right, so I'm a, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so sorry about that. It's better to be perfect than not perfect, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, see right here, there's a gap on the bottom of that, so they're not lined up right. And over here, one's higher, the left one's higher than the, the right one. So you, you want to make them as straight as you could. If you want to run a string from here to there, that's okay. I don't, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I want to do is take uh, plastic knives that we're not using, or some kind of stick on, that we're not using, and uh, tap them down beside them to keep them straight before I put the concrete in. All right, so uh, I don't want the concrete going in and knock them a jar or something like that. So... Uh, uh, what I really like about this one over here is there's a big air gap underneath it. So the concrete's going to pour right underneath that all the way around. Too bad, you know, maybe I could do that in the middle of these things too. Don't know if I want to, but just an idea. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay these all down. Looks like down the edge I'll have to do some more uh, digging down there. But uh, yeah, just uh, wiggle them in place, okay? Uh, work them in place, take your time, and do it on a cool morning. Uh, just uh, a little humid right now, but it's uh, nice and early in the morning. All right, so uh, let me get going, and I'll bring you back when you're all... Well, I tell you, it is a lot of work. It's not absolutely perfect straight. It's going to take some time doing, but I'm, I, I'm aiming to actually make it look pretty good from the from the road. So uh, about halfway done, and uh, I do have enough bricks. I already lined them up. And uh, also, be sure that you're cleaning the bricks, okay? If they have mud, grass, dirt, uh, have somebody wipe those off while you're doing the, laying them down. Well, they're all in, not quite straight, so I have some straightening out to do. Probably where that uh, level is right there, that straight line that I use, I'm going to just keep using it going, going all the way down. So uh, uh, hopefully I don't have to re, re uh, you know, level them, but what has to happen has to happen. It's not looking too good here, it's definitely curved. So keep working with it, and uh, I'll uh, see if, if it, well, perseverance pays off. That's about as straight as I'm getting it, I think. All right, you got to make sure that there's a trench on both sides. I had to dig out some more down here. You have to have a trench on both sides in order for the cement to take place on both sides. And a lot of them will go underneath and hold them in place. And then after it dries, we fill in with dirt and gravel. But be sure you look at it from both sides because those two guys down there were swung over. All right, were swung over to the left. And I had to straighten them out some. So be, be sure that you're actually uh, looking at it from both sides, the street side and from the house side. Start now. Okay, I have my cement. Most people mix cement in a wheelbarrow or something like that before pouring it in. Okay, uh, believe me, you don't need to do that. Okay, on all this, all this uh, supports that we put in for wheelchair ramps and decks, you just pour the cement right down the hole and you fill it with water. You take something, poke it down there, and it mixes it up. Never had a problem with that. Okay, so right here, we're going to take a, take some. We're going to put it around on both sides. Hey, make sure your trenches are deep enough for this. Okay, we don't want to fill them to the top because all we need is the support on the bottom, probably one quarter of of the scallop. Uh, uh. Well, for this project, they use about one and a half uh, eighty-pound bags. So there it is. Okay, you want to make sure they're pressed up against the sides, about a maybe a third to a halfway up. Okay, uh, uh, on the bricks. Uh, you just think after these things harden up, 
it's going to give the, the bricks a very good foothold on each side. So uh, that's, that's, that's uh, really nice. So now the powder is down. The next thing to do is uh, water it like you're watering in the garden, but you don't want to do a heavy spray. You don't want to wash away the brick, the cement from the bricks. And on this side of the this side of the uh, house, there I have this other one over here. So uh, let's go ahead and start watering. Do it uh, light, not not like a a, 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 a mist, but you like a shower. Okay, I'm going to try a flat setting. That seems to be the best. Flat setting, not high temp. So we're going to slice soak to where it's really flooded in there. On both sides. We're getting this one. I'm getting this one first. You're going to see it, but over here, you, I know you can see it in here. Okay, and we're just, uh, we're washing off the bricks too. You want to get the cement off the bricks. Okay, anything that's in the bricks, get down there and wash them off. You don't want the cement hardening on the bricks. Alright, so make sure you do that. Clean them up. And they might have some mud from being laying them down at all. Alright, they're really wet. They're really wet. Let me take you down and show you. Alright, the puddle in there, which is a good thing. Let me get the lens cap out of the way. Uh, in some areas it's not, but it's uh, it's really, really good. Okay, it's muddy down there, and that's what you want. Well, it's been roughly uh, 24 hours. Okay, uh, it doesn't look as white as cement usually is, but you know what? They're not budging at all. I'm uh, I'm actually wiggling around, and they're not budging. I don't want to break them free or if the if it's not cured all the way, but. I mean, this all looking awful good. So, okay, let it go for a little while. If you want to cover it up with dirt and uh, gravel, it's okay. It will cure under that, just like uh, just like the studs right now, probably still curing under the dirt. All right. So, hopefully, uh, you like the uh, video and it helps you out, especially if your uh, scallop uh, bricks were as laying down as bad as mine was. All right. Subscribe and uh, see a whole lot more helpful videos. Bye.